to another tutorial video. In this tutorial video, I want to talk about spanable string. Spanable string is a library uh, we can customize our, our text view. For example, uh, in this project, we just we need to implement uh, data binding. As you can see, actually, uh, I am using view binding, but you can use data binding also. And inside the main activity, we have just a text view. Let's go to our text view, as you can see. Our text is here. Yes, make sure we don't need to this entire code. And yes, inside the main activity, I defined a variable, a string, Braxelchuk. And I separate this uh, string using split. And split uh, will look to that middle line. And uh, as you can see, we have a one if else block in here. Inside the if block is if uh, uh, parameter length uh, from five, that parameter is Selchuk. Uh, we are defining as penable and we are adding. If you want, you can uh, change this penable string in here. For example, I want to write Malatya in here. So writing on the screen, uh, first parameter, uh, this first parameter of this a list, a list list and Malatya and plus uh, second parameter of this list and we are adding a set span uh, spanable dot set span uh, properties we are using in here and this is our uh, start number and this is our end number we will add a background color uh, on the set span. Also, in binding that product that test equals to our uh, spanable we created now. And yes, let's run our application for see the results. As you can see, product that product Malatya Selçuk. And if you want, you can add. slash add in here like this that means uh, Malatya and our uh, second parameter will uh, go down bottom line let's run again and as you can see and uh, this was the video how you can use a uh, spanable of your project. Thanks for watching. You can find the, this project uh, code below the description. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Okay.